Good one, I'm Rob Goodwin of YourBostonSports.com. It's uh, Sunday, and uh, the World Series is two days away. Joining me by phone is John Korn. Mr. Korn, how excited are you with this World Series coming up? I am excited. I think we're going we're gonna to see our fourth World Championship, possibly, in, uh, in what, 14 years? Yeah. That, that, six years for the first one, we might have four of them in 14. That's quite, like it. Yeah, it's quite possible. However, we do have a team to play. That's right, and a good team. They have good pitching. They have they have very good pitching. I was noticing that their their team ERA is uh, not quite half a run better than the Red Sox. Mm-hmm. Uh, what's kind of interesting is, and of course I'm missing one page. Uh, oh, here it is. So what's kind of interesting about the Dodgers pitching, and is that um, the the pitcher with the starting pitcher with the most wins for the Dodgers is Rich Hill. You know how many wins he has? I didn't realize that. Yeah. He has 11. 11 wins? 11 wins. That's yeah, the m- they're, they're doing very well now. They, 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 they've, uh, their uh, their uh, postseason uh, pitching has been very good. Right, right. And as I said, their team ERA is impressive. I think it's like a 3.38. And I pitched a gem the other night. Yes, yes. And he's doing very well. Yep. That'll be a lot of fun watching him at Fenway. Kershaw versus Sale. No, it won't be Kershaw versus Sale, right? I don't know, probably not. I think he'd be maybe pitching second game. But anyways, go ahead. Yeah, so um, so if you look at the, their starting rotation, um, or the, the pitchers with the most games started on the team, there's like six of them. Their, their highest DRA is um, Alex Wood, 368. That's their highest. Well, the Red Sox took care of uh, Houston's pitching staff. Well, they did. They did. Run, they could score twenty runs in three games. Hey, can I say hello to can I say hello to our, one of our viewers, Steve Dresner? Hey, Steve. Hey, Steve. Um, I think Steve's on location at uh, either Ravens or Redskins. I, I'm not sure. We'll see if he comments. Um, but and and then the, like um, Ross Stripling, his ERA is three point oh two, and then um, Bueller. Uh, Walker Bueller's ERA is two point six two. That that sounds like they have quite a quite a rotation going. Yeah. Oh yeah. They're, they're not going to roll over here. No, no, not at all. And, and by the way, they do have a closer. It's uh, Kenley Jansen. He's got thirty eight saves this year out of forty two. Not bad. Not bad at all. <laughs> um. And then offensively, they, they lag behind the Red Sox. Their, their uh, team batting average is about 250. Red Sox are 268. Red Sox have um, fewer home runs, but more runs scored. So um, I think it's going to be a great matchup. I don't think, I don't think it's going to be as easy as everyone thought for the Red Sox. No, I don't think so either. But we didn't think it would be easier for them against Houston either. Which is, or the Yankees. You know, yeah, or the Yankees. That's right. Or win 108 games. Well, that's, that's a, a very good point. Um, they won 108 games. They beat the Yankees. They beat Houston. And by the way, they, up on Houston. they, they did. Up on Houston. They did. No one does it all year. No one did this all year. They took three straight at Houston. Exactly. Exactly. And by the way, the Dodgers strike out a lot. They've got they've got over they've got almost 200 more strikeouts than the Red Sox. The Red Sox all year have been absolutely relentless in the sixth inning. Mm-hmm. Unbelievable. I just just beyond anything I've ever seen. So if they continue that, I don't see any stopping them. Right, right. Um, but so, so can I um, can I do a rant about the Red Sox? Sure. How in the world could they be 2-2 two and two at home in the playoffs? What is wrong with them? <laughs> do you realize that they're 5-0 and oh on the road? How come they only win 108 games when they're playing lousy teams all year? Can you believe this? Well, they could have won more if they if Corey didn't step off the gas in the last two weeks. Unbelievable. <laughs> Terrible. You know, if that's if that's all we're complaining about, I think I think we're in good we're in good, we're in a good spot. Can I ask you a question? Yes. It's just been a, it's just a pity. I, I I really were joking around, but it was it's been a it's been an unbelievable phenomenon this year. How Boston, Red Sox Nation, the media and the fans as well, have this black cloud hanging over them, walking around moaning and groaning. About oh, oh we just we you know we just won eight in a row yeah but the bullpen's terrible <laughs> just on and on and on okay and the the first time it came to a stop was when they swept Houston at Houston yep I'm, I'm finally not listening to it anymore can you explain why the where the negativity comes from 
Well, I mean, look, there's negativity um, with the Celtics. They're one and one, and the sky's falling. They lost to Toronto. The sky's falling. Yeah. What you know. Is it with the Boston, what is it with the Boston fans and the Boston media? They're, they're like it's like fake news and it's just in sport, Boston sports. Well, what's uh, going on there? Yeah, and you know um, when we were driving home from the game, I think in, on June thirtieth. Everyone was saying trade JBJ for somebody who's half as good defensively but can hit the ball. Why? I have never in my life. <laughs> have, you, have you ever in your life seen a, a fan base that panics when their team is in first place by ten games? Never. Nope, never, never. Why is why is why why do Red Sox fans do? Why do you think they do? I don't know. I just think it's um it's in it's in their blood. It's in their blood. Yankee fans are the opposite. They could be ten games behind, and they're laughing at you. Going, oh, we're all, it's, only, it's only August. We'll be yeah. yeah. They're, they're crazy. They're crazy in the opposite direction. Yeah, I know. They they're behind and they like it. Who's stupider? A, 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 place, a, a second place team that thinks they're in first place or a first place team, team that thinks they're going to lose? Exactly. Summer. Exactly. <laughs> I can't make up my mind. Go, go figure out. I've, I've been listening to that this year. It's funny, more than any other year. They, but they, it's almost as if they're waiting for the other shoe to drop. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, like, it's, it's like it's too good to be true. This year is too good to be true. Well, three. One right. Three World Series. Yeah, three World Series championships isn't, isn't enough. Yeah, they're either spoiled or they're, they're waiting for a disaster to happen because it's too good to be true or something. Right, I, right. I've been listening to this stuff all year. It's kind of weird. I, you, you and I have talked about this. And what about, what about the commentators on MLB Network, on, on MLB Radio that you were listening to? What, what do they have to say? <laughs> oh, uh, Chris Russo the other day said, I, I didn't know what I was talking I think we're having some... Technical difficulties. Five. Hey, John. I think we're having a little bit of issues here. Uh, John, can you hear me? Um, hey, John. It, it, it seems to have turned around, and the Red Sox are going to kill everybody. We're going to kill the you know the National League team in the World Series. But before that, it was always there was always a reason why they were, they really were the, the inferior team. They just don't look they look like a superior team, but they're really not. Yeah. For, for until last week, up until this week. For a little, little, little while, we had some technical difficulties, so we missed a little bit of what you were saying before. But, but I think you're back now. Okay. Yeah. Uh, no, all, all year I'm hearing how Boston appears to be a superior team, but they're really not. Right, the right. These are really superior. Mm-hmm. Cleveland's superior. Yep. Houston's superior. Ever since the, ever since the Houston, uh, ever since they beat Houston the other day, I'm hearing the opposite. Right, the right. Sox are the superior team. They're going to win the World Series in five. I'm hearing that from MLB and people like Chris Russo. Right, John right. Said, I, didn't know, I didn't know what I was talking about. Yep. I was, I was, I was full of it. I, I, I had no idea what I was talking about. <laughs> the Yankees were not superior to the Red Sox. Cleveland was not superior. I mean, uh, Houston was not superior to the Red Sox. The Red Sox are going to beat up on, uh, on uh, Los Angeles. They, they went from one extreme to the other. You know? Yeah, yeah. Hey, we, we have a comment that I was just able to read from Ed Thompson. Hey, Ed. Uh, Ed says that um, that being Houston was a big deal and um, beating Justin Verlander was amazing and says, good luck, Red Sox. So thanks, Ed. I'm not sure if that means Ed's, Ed's not a Red Sox fan or, or what, but um, so thanks, to, thanks, Ed, for the comment. So what do you think Cora is going to do with the lineup? I mean, you know, we, you got second base and third base, Question marks is there's there's someone saying that um, Mookie Betts could play second base. Do you what do you think? Uh, that's the big question I have. Where, where do you, where do you do with JD Martinez? Uh, in, in my in my view, you can't take any of those off fielders out. Not right now. Jackie Bradley Jr. would be the logical choice. Yeah. To bench him when they're in the when they're. Um, when they're in Los Angeles, but you can't do that now. You right, right. The tar off the ball. I don't know. There's even talk of putting Mookie at second base, but I don't think he's going to do that. I don't either. think so either. I don't think so either. Hey, I want to say a shout out to David, my friend David in Worcester. Hey, David, he's watching. Um, yeah, I don't know. You know, Mookie has played what one inning at second base all year. Yeah, that's a tough one. I, I but I, I don't. I don't know. I would think that maybe Jackie Bradley will will get benched a little bit, not not for three games. Mm-hmm. But, uh, you got to put Martinez in that lineup. Yeah, yeah. Especially, especially um, in Los Angeles, where you know warmer weather is going to do him some good. 
yeah, you know, maybe maybe Bradley and Ben and Tandy will sit down for a few. Weeks. I don't know. I don't know how he's going to do. He's going to juggle. He's going to juggle Ben and Tandy, um, uh, Bradley and and, uh, and and JD a little bit. Yeah. And um, but he, he got, you got to you got to get JD Martinez for at that. Right. Three, right. Yeah, you have to. Yeah. Well, I agree. I mean, I, JBJ might be the logical choice there. Mm-hmm. And what? Then Mookie moves to center, and, and JD plays right. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe, yeah. Maybe maybe Jackie Bradley sits for one game. Ben and Tenney sits for one game. Uh, I don't know. Well, it'll be it'll be interesting to see. But you know what's going to happen? Um, whoever gets hot for a game for for a couple games is going to stay in. Yeah. It's a very luxurious problem to have. It's it? very luxurious. David says leave the outfield the way it is. That that's that's a little difficult, you know, with, with JD Martinez being your DH. You know, that's that's the problem, obviously for games uh, three, four, and five. Can JD Martinez play first base? I don't know that. That's a good question. That was they they, they would always do that with Poppy. Yeah, yeah. That that's a very good question. I I am not aware that he plays. I I'm not aware he plays first base. What do you do with Pierce? Moreland. Well, uh, it'll be interesting. Yeah, yeah. Again, I think who if someone gets hot for a couple games, they're going to stay in there. Yeah. You know, and you know, the teams have done that before in the World Series. I, th- I don't think I don't think there's a choice there. Um, so, uh, by the way, who, 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 was that? It's a nice problem for a manager to have. It, it is. It is. Um, but you know, that might leave Holt. Holt is the, is the odd man out, possibly. There you go. There you go. So, by the way, we, we have a, a new editor. His name is Barry. Uh, and Barry is actually going to be at Game 1 Tuesday night. So we're going to hopefully see some live video on Facebook from Fenway, Game 1 awesome. Tuesday night. Yeah. Awesome. Good yeah, for you, Barry. Yeah, Barry's been doing a great job. Uh, I, I can't take credit for most of the excellent posts. They're his. Uh, we also have another um, editor. His name is Bill. And... Um, I think Bill put the post up that had the most views of any in our history, the one with the bobbleheads and the uh, the Pepto Bismol or whatever it was. <laughs> that, that was that was Bill Farrell. Yeah, Bill Farrell put that up. Thanks, Bill. Um, so uh, we've got some great great con- con- contributors um, helping us out and doing and really um, on their on their own time and then their own volition, um, sharing content with us and with all of our all of our fans. So that we really like that. Fantastic. We got to ask you a question about the Red Sox. Yeah. What did you think of David Price the other night? How about that? Stunning. Stunning. Whatever he figured out. He didn't even, he didn't even look like the same guy. He, his, his body language, everything. What, what could he, he have transformed into a into a, a big game pitcher? What could he have possibly figured out in the bullpen during during that during the previous game when Kibberlo was almost blowing it? I I, <laughs> I wonder. Maybe Maybe it boils down to mechanics, and he, he just found the feel for it that night, the night before. Did you see him jumping up and down? And he was he was the happiest guy in the field. Yeah, yeah, I did. Yeah, that ball for the third out. He exactly. He couldn't, he couldn't wait to get that ball the right. next day. Right. Maybe maybe uh, Chris Schilling was talking about that one time. He says he'll pick up a baseball and, and, and put it down. Pick up another one and put it down. There's just this un, undefinable like feel you get for, mm. for you know in your in your wind up and in your mechanics. Sure. And, and, you know, maybe he maybe he found something. You know, that mechanically, that's working for him right now. I, I don't know, but he uh, he wasn't the same guy. No, he wasn't. He found something. He obviously <laughs> he found, found something. something man. All right. So David wants to know who's playing third. Oh, I I I would I would put uh, I would put Devers in for his bat. I would too. Yeah. And I and I think I think his defense is actually uh, I don't know in these couple of playoff games that he's played better. Um. Yeah, David says Price was definitely at his best. Well, by far he was at his best. Absolutely, no question about it. And and what do you think of the sale sales um, illness? What do you think of Sale getting ill? And at that very moment, Price puts on <laughs> the, the performance of a life of, of, his, of his life. That's Isn't true. That amazing. Absolutely. And but, what do you think of Sale being out in August? For like seven or eight mm-hmm. stars, yep. those, those are prices. That, start, that was that was where prices at his best. Absolutely, he pitched for night. That stretch this guy's was great. Been a whipping boy. This guy's been a whipping boy for a couple of years now, and he does not deserve it. Mm-hmm. I 
know, I know I'm sounding like, oh, okay, I, I, I like him now because he, he, we won. But really, he does not deserve the, the um, how people have been talking about him for the last two years. Yeah. He does. He says some stupid things like none of us have, you know. And uh, I, I don't know. I, I, he was great in the bullpen last year. And look what he did last night, the other night. Right. But the, the thing with Eckersley didn't, didn't help him. No, that didn't no, help him. He, he, picked on the, he picked on the wrong guy. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, you know. Yeah. Or Jerry Remy or somebody. <laughs> so I need to ask you this: What did you think of the cause of his stomach illness? What was the cause of it? I didn't. I didn't hear about that. So he did an interview um, a couple days ago, and apparently, totally serious, not cracking a smile. And the problem is he had got an infection from a belly button ring. From a belly button ring. I guess when you keep when you when you remove it and put it back in, you could get an infection. So every media outlet ran with this story for a couple of days. And it turns out it's not true. I was gonna say he said this with a straight face. He did. And USA <laughs> USA Today ran among others ran with it and and put the story out that that was what his illness is all about. It reminds me of the time Joe Kelly told some reporter he was uh, his great uncle was Machine Gun Kelly. Remember that? <laughs> <laughs> the idiot believed him. But that is the funniest thing I've ever heard. <laughs> that, and and all these media outlets never mind never mind uh, um, what 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 what, are the, what are the twelve up or or um, some of the other ones that, that you know the 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 blogging type. Um, uh, sites like Bleacher Report. Never mind those guys. USA Today ran with it. <laughs> now you know where fake news comes from. People believe anything. Oh boy. Uh, so 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 the doctor who's on the, who's on the, who's commenting on the program says you probably just ate something bad. <laughs> Thank you, doctor. You're probably right. You probably did eat something. It's probably right. Yeah. Yeah, maybe we could find out what he ate, you know? Yeah. <laughs> Bad sushi or something? <laughs> he, he was in Houston. He was poisoned. <laughs> Stay away from the rib places in Houston. Hey, he, he was poisoned. Print it. He was poisoned. Yes. <laughs> he was poisoned by, poisoned by the opposition. We all thought they were stealing signs. They were poisoning our pitching staff. Sail gate. Poison gate. <laughs> we got spy gate, apple gate, what well, sail gate? That could be. We we now have sail gate. You and I are uncovering a massive, massive conspiracy here. Absolutely. It's a Red Sox wing conspiracy. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. And I think this somehow ties into the Kavanaugh hearings. So, so do you think they'll they'll continue this pattern of you know one and one at home, sweep on the road, done with it? <laughs> I kind of I kind of doubt it. I kind of like that. I mean, I, I, you want them to win at Fenway, but who cares? I mean, geez. yeah. yeah. What, and you, you bury them when you can, you know. What's your experience um, when you went to when you went to uh, Chavez Ravine to see the Dodgers? Oh, beautiful stadium. Hmm. Day. They have this silly bobblehead. Remember that? As a matter of fact, um, I have the Vin I have the Vince Scully bobblehead. Yeah, I gave it to you. Because I'm such a nice guy. I got I got it in my hand. I'm a very very uh, generous person. I gave you my Vince Scully bobblehead. Yeah, I, I, I'm showing it to our fans right now. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I carried that thing all the way across country on, a, on an airplane. It's heavy. I said, I'm going to give this to Gordon. It's very heavy. You know why? Because Gordon deserves this. <laughs> he's a, he's a, he's a stand-up guy, man. Yeah, Bob, I'm, I'm moving his head. Hey, his head's the same size as mine, you know. Vin Scully. Was he, the, was he the greatest announcer? I would think so. Long, longest, longest working announcer, too. Yeah. Yeah, you've yeah, you got to give him credit for that. Oh, he'll, he'll be there, right? He'll be there. He'll be at the game, yeah. So, sure. you asked me a question the other day. I'm going to ask you the same question. What kind of ovation is Dave Roberts going to get at Fenway? He gets a standing ovation. Yeah. 
standing ovation. Yeah. The Red, Red Sox remember everything. Red Sox fans remember everything. But he gets a standing ovation once. And then every trip to the mound, not, right? Yeah, no. No. He gets, when they first, yeah, you're right. When they announce him, he gets a standing up. That's it. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Danny Machado gets booed, you think? Oh, absolutely. He's going to get booed every at bat. And if he, and he you know, now, do you, do you think they'll retaliate if he pulls something? Um, yes. You do. But they're going to do it. They're going to do it when they, when it's, they're not going to do They're not going to be stupid about it. You know? Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. They're not going to, yeah. I don't know. It's a, it's a World Series. They don't want to risk anybody getting hurt in a fight or. Right. And I don't think they want to, I don't think they want to risk Cora getting thrown out. Of course, he did get thrown out once already in the playoffs. That's right. You know, he did get, he, he did get himself thrown out once. You know, obviously he thought he was right, you know, as far as the, uh, you know, the home plate umpire, but I don't know. I think it's a whole different ball game. I, I, I mean, they, they can't, yeah. They, they, they got to they gotta put the series first. And, and yeah, if he, if, he, if, he, if he pulls some crap, they got to figure out another way to. Um, I don't know. They won't see him next year. They can't retaliate next year. Unless he, play, unless he goes to, goes to the Yankees. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, he maybe he won't, maybe won't do anything. He got fined $10,000 for. Uh, you know, for kicking the the the, the ankle of or what's his name, a first baser, the, the Milwaukee first baseman. Oh yeah, yeah, right, right, right. Yeah, so maybe he maybe he'll calm down a little bit. Yeah, maybe or maybe not. He's definitely a punk. There's no doubt about. Well, it. yeah, the he biggest. Threw it. You know, that's why they threw at his head. Remember a couple of years ago in Baltimore against Baltimore? Sure. They didn't throw at his head because he spiked because uh, he spiked Pedroia. They threw at his head because he spiked Pedroia, and he's a punk. Yeah. That's why they threw at him. They, and they were wrong. They were wrong for doing that. Right, right. And that's why. That's the reason. I can see them retaliating if he pulls something and then hits a home run or something. Mm-hmm. You know, it, then I could almost see them doing something. But you know the umpire is going to have a short fuse on this on this whole thing. Yeah, and you're right. You don't want Corey to get thrown out. Right. You don't want anybody to get hurt in a fight. Remember Bill Lee? Yeah. Many years ago, but he, 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 was, he was out for the rest of the season. Right. Of course, uh, you know. You don't want to risk anything like that. Cora could always send Ron Renicky out to argue and get thrown out. That, he could do that. Yeah. Say, I don't know. He did it, he did it on his own, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah, maybe, uh, maybe it'll be winning 8 in the, in the late in the game and somebody could come in and plunk him, something like that, you know? And then. Uh, you know, if, if it's a sure, if the game's a sure thing. But if it's a close game, they're not going to they're not going to they're not going to throw at him. Right, but even if you do that, then it's going to carry over to the next game. Mm-hmm. That's not necessarily a good thing because you don't know how things are going to be are going to be working out in that game. You know. Yeah. So. Um, yeah, I, I don't know. It, it, it's a whole different different scenario there. It's a whole different you know, scenario. Could, if somebody, if it, I, I don't know how much I, I love baseball stories because part of it is because they do become legendary. But yep. allegedly, one time Ty Cobb was sliding into into second base, and the and the second baseman tagged him really hard on the mouth, knocking out one of his teeth. Yeah, he just whacked him. He, like, he slapped him right in the mouth when he hmm. tagged him. <laughs> Maybe, <laughs> whoops! <I'm> sorry, <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. Well, I think it's I, I think it's gonna be a great series, regardless. <laughs> well, yeah, you're right. They're, they're gonna put they're gonna put first things first. They're not gonna they're not gonna uh, you know. So anyway, yeah. Well, in, I'll close and say that the Red Sox have seemed to have been able to um, see be able to get by all the problems in the playoffs with ease, whether it be Craig Kimbrell tipping pitches, you know. Uh, sale and his, and his illness. I mean, they, they, they've dodged everything. You know, they, they've used a starting pitcher a couple times in the seventh or eighth inning. You know, Porcello once. Price Price was, you know, considered an extra innings. Evaldi pitched, pitched an inning. So, I mean, almost everything the core has done has turned to gold, and they've gotten by all the, all the issues that may have um, been, you know, led to, led to them losing. And the pickup of the year, Evaldi. Yeah. Yeah, no that question. Was smart, that was, boy, he, if, 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 if uh, Dombrowski doesn't look like a genius right now, picking that guy up. Oh, absolutely. And, and you know, oh, 
The other thing I want to mention is that who is, who is um, Dombrowski with all the time? Tony La Russa. Mm-hmm. That's the brain trust. That's the actual brain trust. And, and what about Ryan Brazier? Yeah. I mean, he was pitching in the minor leagues in Japan last year. Yeah. Unbelievable. He's 31. Yeah, Jack, Jackie Bradley, MVP of the ALC. Yeah. Grand slam and a three-run homer. Right. You go on and on. And don't forget Bar- how, how Barnes has pitched. The thing that's going to stand out in my mind, okay, and a lot of people probably aren't going to talk about it too much because they don't like the guy, is the moment Chris Sale comes down with a stomach virus, at that moment, David Price pitches the game of his yeah, life. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you cannot deny that that, 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 that happened. Right, right. No question about I it. I give this guy kudos for that. Sure, sure, absolutely. So, well, you know, he's, now you know, he's being held to a very high standard. If he, if he falters next year, if he doesn't pitch well next year, they'll be, be on him all over again. That's the truth. They'll be on him all over again. Right or wrong, it doesn't matter. So, nope. hopefully not. Hopefully not. Well, I'm glad you were able to join me today by phone today, Mr. Korn. Yes, I'm glad I was too. Looking forward to Tuesday night. Thanks to all of our viewers, uh, David, um, Ed, Steve. Hopefully I'm not missing anybody. And, uh, yeah, every game is 8 o'clock. Every game is 8 o'clock. Yep, yeah. So every game's every game's at about eight or eight oh nine p.m. Um, each game of the series. So uh, look forward to some uh, live video and pictures from Fenway Tuesday night from our editor, editor Barry, and um, you know looking looking to obviously for a fast start out of the gate, but it's not imperative if they split at, at, at home. That'll be a good start, right? They, there you go. Yeah, they, they haven't clinched. They haven't clinched at home at all in the, in the two series, unfortunately. Nope. Yeah. They didn't clinch. The only time they clinched at home was a, was the sixth game of the World Series in 2013. Every oh, no, wait a minute. I'm, I take that back. They clinched game six of the LCS. We were there, remember? Right. Right. Yeah. But yeah, the, the World the 04 World Series and the 07 World Series they uh, they clinched away. Yep. And they clinched away in the uh, the two the, yeah games this, this year. Yeah. So, well, I'd, I'd, rather, I'd rather get it over with as soon as possible. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Slam the door when you can. Exactly. All right, Corn. Right, hope you have a great day. Thanks, everyone, for watching. We'll post this uh, video. Um, it'll be on Facebook in a few minutes to uh, be viewed again. And later on, it should be on YouTube as well. So thanks, everyone, for watching. Uh, don't forget to watch the Sox Tuesday night, 8 o'clock on Fox. Go Sox. Thanks, John. Thanks, Mr. Corn. Take care.